that's Yu-Gi-Oh! nowadays. You get four cards on the field, five cards on the field, six cards in hand, your opponent has two cards, and they can go cry. Bam. Draw your last pathetic card so I can end this, Yugi. My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba, but it does contain the unstoppable dueling wave. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Welcoming my uncle Tito. So the Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list is regularly trash. We know it. We all know it. Even your dentist. It's a blatant co-money grab where the number one interest is profit. As we've already said in numerous videos, such as this one above me. Come back to it after you finish this video so that the runtime goes a algorithm. Now, if we want to play this game without having to navigate a disgusting minefield that Konami presents us with every three months, we have to take things into our own hands. So our testing group and our Discord, linked down below, have taken this very goal into their hands to actually try to balance this insane game. So the question is, was any of this legal? No, I'm just kidding. The question is, did we achieve our goal? There's only one way to find out, and that is training montage or a uh, tournament. <laughs> the tourney structure is simple here. We will have three groups. Best performer from each group will advance to the semifinals. And then the fourth best player or fourth best record uh, amongst all of them will be the wild card that is the fourth semi-finalist. Almost we'll call him like the Joey Wheeler. Each match throughout the tournament will be a best of five since we don't have really a crazy amount of people in this tournament. It's just a nice little inaugural thing. And also to minimize variance so that the best player does advance and winning the rock, paper, scissors is less of an importance because through those five games, you're able to steal possibly one the more games you have. You know what I mean? Going second. You must use the FK format ban list from our Discord link below designed to fix this game. Now, what's on this ban list, you ask? Well, if you haven't been paying attention to previous videos or if you're new here, we'll explain that right now. Big hits include bands of Flamberge, Apo, all of the barrier statues and other special summon stoppers. Every really bad floodgate in the game uh, is banned, including skill drain. We even went overboard and hit Monarchs erupt to one just to stop like maybe stun decks from possibly doing something. Other hits are like Sanctifier for the floodgate aspect when you can summon like, you know, five different monsters on your opponent's board, all of which stop you from special summoning. Uh, we banned also to not overbalance going uh, first. We banned uh, Access Code Talker, Boral Sword Dragon, cards like that that really just destroy you going second that are just kind of stupidly. There used to be OTK decks in the past. Now there's no OTK decks. It's just every deck can OTK. Here's this free guy for 5,300 or 3,000 five times to the face. It's ridiculous. We banned those. Um, IP, Abyss Dweller, Super Poly, and so many more cards. Like there's a bunch of cards so many cards have been chained check it out it's awesome cards brought back are things like zodiacs masterpiece to one diagram to three that grass is at one uh Charvara to two uh, all of the dragon rulers to three and a bunch of other ones right we did engage before konami released engage we did all sorts of stuff because we've been doing this now for a few months if you want to see the entire list like i said go down into the description below we have the ban list it's in the same format i'll put it up here it's in the same format as konami's ban list we also have an edo profile if you use edo pro uh where you can download this file Put it in your folders in Project Ignis, and you will have this ban list as a selectable on your drop down so that you can play this ban list, test it against the AI, against other FK uh, ban list players in the Discord if you join. So go check it out after you watch this video. So without further ado, let's get to this tourney and let's play it out. All right, so tournament structure now as it unfolds. We've got three groups, as I said Group X, Group Y, Group R, Group R group y and group z or z for you british f's in group x we have yours truly dueling wave we've got loki the vile we've got tupac yes he's back from the dead in group y we've got og you've seen him on the channel before he's done deck profiles he's done challenges uh we've got jared the game freak and we've got carl uh probably the most badass name in this tournament then we got group z we've got krogu we got necros of xian and we got slimy waven these are the three groups uh the best player from each group will advance and then the fourth wild card will be the last semi-finalist the joey wheeler as we said before so let's get into this tournament, baby. We got a group Y matchup here with Carl and Jared Gamer Freak. Uh, we've got on the top a amalgamation deck of, I see, what is that? Basically going second board breaking deck. Oh, Tistina. Got it. Uh, and then we got Tier Laments, as we've seen again. Oh, man, the big level two, 10 Tistina God. Jared Gamer Freak really going in with some gangster ass deck like Tistina. We got uh, their realm coming down. I'm not very familiar with Tistina, but let's see what happens, man. There's some cards going off. We got a um, 
the Panker Top's coming down. We got the Demigod of Tistina. We got Bashtina of Tistina. We got Transaction Rollback. Flipping everything. Stop me if you heard this one before. Tier Limits are now low-key Labyrinth. Zombie Vampire, let's go. We got the Pearl of Rhino, Zombie Vampire, Mill, Forbidden Droplets, gets rid of the um, Panker Tops to negate. We get the screen. We get the Rhino Heart. We're going off. We're going more off. Sheeran, oh, oh, the, oh, put myself back in the deck to special summon. Look at that. Telemans Pro Lino going off, popping everything. This guy shuffles back. This guy is good. We get glory. We attack. We stop. Okay, cool enough. Fair enough. Let's go. We set a card. We go. Oh, another Panker Tops off the top. Fenrir, Scream. Stuff's going off. Fenrir is going to get sniped right here. Death to Fenrir. Uh, he's been negated and halved. We get some tier limits plays in the graveyard. We've got uh, Big Boy coming back. We've got Mud Dragon. We've got King Sarcophagus being targeted. We've got three chain links here. Tistina, Meta, we all knew it. Uh, we got two level sevens on the field. We could have made something, but they're way more important if they stay. Oh, no, we've just been outed completely. What do we do now? Battle phase. Boom in the face. Boom in the face. Tistina gets kind of its own uh taste of its own medicine because uh, again punch in the face is usually what they do we've got one zero for tier laments let's see if tistina can come back let's swap these we got to see uh you know from the tistina perspective a little bit too you know what i mean uh we got tier limits cashier coming down banishing fenrir milling some cards rhino heart triggers rhino heart summon itself rhino heart sends one from the deck to the graveyard merly effect fuse Ooh, we get big graph uh Merly effect. Let's go. Wait, Havness, right? Or Merly. No, Merly was the one to summon. My god, they all look the same, man. Uh Dark. We get Tistina, Bashtina, whatever. We get level 10. We get Forbidden Droplets. Level 10 does something. Flips the whole field. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that one. That one's doing something. Look at that. Okay. Demigod. Let's go. Comes down in attack mode. Nice. Uh let's go. That one. Uh, usually sometimes when they special summon monsters, it's like, go special summon in defense mode. So stupid. Um, this thing comes down. Something gets popped. There's the XYZ. Look at that. We have found the best Destina player in the universe, Laser. What? You can attack directly? You can attack directly? What? <laughs> okay. Never read that card. Jared Gamer Freak. Tying it up against Tier Laments. 1-1. Who would have seen that coming? Come on, guys. Tistina, bro. Now that's a deck. Uh, we're going to pitch King of the Swamp to get, with Imseti, to get our King Sarcophagus. We Trivi Karma for a Pearl of Rhino, Pearl of Rhino effect. Effect of King, Car King Sarcophagus to pitch one, send Happy, Happy, Imseti, Zombie Vampire. Stop me if you heard this one before. Let's mill some cards. Boom. Shit all beast. What? Let's go. Draw another card. He's always the one that we mill. Sheeran effect. Sheeran, mill some cards. Ooh, we get the Karstira uh, card. We get this. We get trap. We get uh, shufflers. Oh no, the graveyard's gone. What do we do? Boom! Rhino heart. Rhino heart effect. Pitch. Pitching into Havness. Havness effect. Should all beast in Havness. Summoning mud dragon. We're gonna make Bahamut. Bahamut effect. Summon toad. We've got one negate. We've got dark to summon this guy back. God knows what he does. Sprint. Sprint effect. Summon. Sending Merly. Merly effect. Let's fuse into. Kaleido heart. So many effects are going off, and I'm tired of talking. My goodness, look at this. Look at this one. Now we go to Stina. Can Tistina break this board? Tistina, let's go. Tistina, let's go. Tistina. Instead of reading the effects and talking about the cards, because no one knows what they are, we're just going to hype Tistina up. Tistina. Let's go, let's go, Tistina. Let's go, let's go, Tistina. Let's go. Can we break this board? Tistina, Tistina, Tistina. I wonder what that means. Anyone that knows what Tistina means, just write in the comments. I have no idea what that means. All right, we got more stuff happening. So many things happening, bro. Look at this. What is going on? Tier Limits have five cards on field. They haven't won automatically. We just need that one card to attack directly, right? Toad, put some back, pop. Ooh, he just keeps stopping that play. Flip face down. Dream of Tistina. We get another demigod. We get Ravenous Tarantula, Pain Gainer, Seven Sins. Hmm. I wonder what Seven Sins is. Why not go into the other guy? Can he attack? Like, is there a condition for when he can attack directly? 
I thought Destina had this, right? Basically, just ignore everything they have. Just attack directly twice for 4,000. <laughs> All right. So we lose our big guy, and it's not looking good. And we just lost. Let's go to game four, baby. Let's put Destina back on the bottom. We need to see Destina in action. Look at this hand, bro. It's beautiful. We have thrusts. We have demigod. We have banker tops. We don't even lose to one negate. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? What deck can not lose to one negate? No deck except Estina. We're going off. We trigger danger effect. We got Bahamut Shark. We are going to summon Toad. And that's it right now. We have a Scream set up though, which is nice. Now we got Panker Tops. Panker Tops effect. Ooh, my dragon effect. Chain, chain effect. Boom. Toad's gone. Toad negates. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go to Stina. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to Stina. Karma cannon and going second that's crazy tistina let's go let's go tistina tistina let's go let's go tistina let's go let's go tistina we got the tistina 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 we got so many level 10s look at that oh no we're doing this stuff burn big guy what does this guy do okay kill that guy what oh my god Carl, you should have let him take... You got you to gotta take that to the face, man. You got to see that life points come to zero. 6,000, bro. Wow. All important game five. Tier Laments versus Tistina. Who would have seen this coming, guys? Who would have seen this coming? Tistina going first because obviously Carl's going to make you go first because you're going second deck. What we do is we do what I like to call a U-set pass. Not a T-set. We got two set cards. And of course, we have the all important thrusts in the hand. Uh, for turn theoretical turn four uh we've got a lot of tier limits going off a lot of tier limits a deck with all one ofs is still going off this is probably what's gonna happen to snake eye they're just gonna hit everything to one and the deck will still be good uh cash tira effects are going off tier limits tier limits sheeran gonna mill there's a miller or right, there's a shuffler there's a trap there's a spell there's another trap there's a horse is this game oh uh -huh. what's that card do what does that do Oh, it does nothing. Damn. That's like so many Tistina cards, you know? Oh, Tistina could have had it. So much, so close to glory, you know? And first matchup, we got Krogu versus Necroz of Xi'en. Krogu starts leading off with Kokimiru, then going to Researcher, Researcher into Green, uh, Ad Emancipator, Reborning the Researcher, then Reborning the Ad Emancipator guy, probably play around Nib. We have the necros of Xi'an on trap uh, on labyrinth and uh first krogu excavates excavates gets the blue dragon or blue uh blue rock sir, uh, rips off the top a dropsies and in this or roxies in this uh setup in this ban list we do have the prank kids meow the meow meow moo the cat uh it is unbanned so go check it out bro I'm telling you it's a great format Granite, then Block Dragon. Block Dragon's unbanned also. He makes Blackluster Soldier. Oh my god, there's no Apo. What do we do? We're struggling. There's no IP. Look at how balanced the game is when you don't have broken generic links, synchros, and whatnot to go into. Right? What is the board? Herald? Okay, you have one big Bungus who's untargetable, who's good going second. You've got uh, Leonite searching for something. Okay, you grab a uh, follow up so you have really one negate two negates a uh, interrupt in the in the graveyard and a blacklister soldier right too bad labyrinth is tough going second so we'll see what happens here but yeah great setup really reasonable board this is what this whole format's about we excavate again we get a doki doki one of the most stupid named cards ever but one of the most broken fairytale snow you just saw it off the top it is also limited on our list. So go check it out. I'm telling you, go check it out. It's a good format. We got a uh, big drag guy come out. Uh, he's excavating off the top to bounce some cards. He's going to get two, bounce two cards, or three cards. Oh, okay, okay. All right. And then uh, Necroz and Xi'en just surrenders because, uh, unfortunately, it's just too much for him to overcome. Now we're in game two. Uh, Necroz of Xi'an has lost and he's declaring to go first. He sets his traps and then it's time, go time. Oh, three Doki Doki off the top. That's crazy. Doki Doki pitch Doki Doki. Uh, set. Okay, that must have been a misclick. Go Edo Pro. Let's go. <laughs> uh, the Labyrinth is going off right now. You get the Ariana. Ariana with the search, searching the chandelier, uh, setting big welcome from the deck. 
big welcome activate summoning lady return destroy card on field or hand and then a lot of chains uh, labyrinth does love to chain a lot of cards all at once it's absolutely bonkers oh and we've lost the tuner uh, ariana comes down searches uh the clock comes down welcome labyrinth other lady we're going to battle phase we're doing some damage not enough for game but we're really close and we reset the big welcome that is so insane now we've got going to battle phase uh oh big welcome's got to come down get arias return to hand okay we got ariana triggering the lovely lady destroy a card trying to get the evenly does not get it this thing comes down the ice dragon's prison banishes everything doki doki in the second uh, in the main phase two uh dropping the xeno uh, the kokimiru whatever the hell that guy was called uh karma cannon set everything face down uh labyrinth man just interacts so much one of the most interesting decks in the game people really really despise the deck but guys come on it's a trap deck that doesn't floodgate you what else do you want uh ariana bounce lady uh, get rid of the researcher or analyzer uh, trigger a bunch of chain links setting back welcome labyrinth setting back the stove and uh, we've got a full hand of labyrinth cards to our opponents two cards chaos angel comes down banishes the last piece and we clear from there going to game three so it's one one right now labyrinth versus at emancipator let's see who takes this game all important game three keep in mind this is a best of five series so we've got some at emancipator plays excavating five cards and do we hit nope we miss whiff off the top uh then we do with the second guy and we do hit the roxies again at emancipator with the prank kids just a great great option in this format you get the meow meow moo this thing floats you get another one you get the um kaka doodle doo or whatever the hell his name is roxy's summoning the green dragon or green falcon thing uh reborn and then we go excavate again and we do get the analyzer off the top what will we pick yep analyzer analyzer gonna go excavate again at emancipator man just plus one to plus one to plus one to plus one <laughs> and then we get the revival golem make gallant granite search search black dragon crystal wing black dragon comes down makes blacklister soldier to float get a bunch of resources bring back green what else can we do we get that off the top we get a drag guide so we've got tuna gates and a big bungus and the lava golem <laughs> the lava golem comes down we got set three uh evenly matched in hand that's always fun to see uh thousand damage let's go uh, welcome labyrinth summon lovely uh pop and then pop that that field spell is just so powerful black dragon comes back trap trick you get the karma cannon karma cannon flip everything face down except blacklister soldier he goes down to the graveyard then we get uh back jack, back jack off the top uh trap trick again setting big welcome big welcome summon ariana ariana return to hand pop a card uh, pop another with lovely uh, when labyrinth starts a slow rolling it's just way too hard to overcome look at that wow amazing muckcracker that's the, i think that's the first time i've seen muckcracker summon in labyrinth it's actually kind of crazy uh, we get the lovely back. Now, can Adam Emancipator come back from this position? That's going to be hard. Karma Cannon again, the MVP of this deck. <laughs> and then we uh, play the lovely la uh, the lovely lady, summon Ariana, uh, bring it back to the hand, pop another card. We're just going off, right? We're just going off. Oh, no, Welcome actually doesn't go to hand. Whatever. Uh, we're setting back Big Welcome. We are going off. Chaos Angel, baby. Chaos Angel, banish. And from this position how does labyrinth lose <laughs> you know what i mean okay cool and that's 2-1 for necros of xian with labyrinth all important game four so we come down with cash to your fenrir no search meaning that we have one in the deck <laughs> i don't know uh labyrinth does a turn zero play uh use welcome to summon lady runs over fenrir ariana effect imperm comes down then you get the love the what is her name lady yeah lady labyrinth my god okay and then we got the big welcome coming down uh welcome comes down off of the lovely of the big lady uh lovely lady comes down uh stovey another chain my god there's so many chains then we get the stove back pop a card we lose the extender uh the hand just has nothing ariana comes down uh rips off the top and here we go 
16, 29, 3000, and that is game 3 1 4. Labyrinth over at Emancipator. Necroz of Xi'an takes it over Krogu and gets three points for his three wins. Now we have yours truly. We'll swap this right now. We have yours truly coming down. Uh, I, as always, you got to lose the uh, dice roll. Uh, drew a hand of no hand traps because we don't play any. And Labyrinth is getting a chance to set up going first. Even Temple of the Kings, a bold choice to run, but we got, you know, Loki, the man from Discord, bro. He is a savage, bro. Uh, lovely Lady comes down. He's going to activate the effect to pop a card. No? Okay, cool. Uh, field Spell comes down, set trap, got some setup. Uh, we allure from Mercurier, basically Exodia. Keep going. Uh, just get as many resources in our hand as possible. Send the Albaz, Bandit opening into a Luber. A Luber effect. Uh, big welcome comes down big welcome summons the ariane or ariana or whatever the other one is you guys know it the one that draws cards a luber is popped uh welcome is set ariana comes down we lose brandon and white not the biggest of deals then we get he activate the chandelier set another trap from deck uh bring back La labyrinth lady uh transaction rollback into another big welcome just summoning so many monsters getting arias to the hand uh getting imperm uh, getting chandelier tactics into fry for patchwork because we're just savage like that branded fusion comes down can our opponent find the answer uh summoning albion albion fusing with branded loss now we're safe and insulated from any plays we got mercurial in the hand the second one because we run two obviously uh summon mirror jade now we're in a good position branded loss insulates us lovely is gone uh, polymerization to magnum the reliever banish the poly draw fry for patchwork get another draw because we reset the patchwork because we put the poly back in the deck uh magnum the reliever pops a card uh we get the uh, broken effect of chimera and then pop some stuff bestial lubelion draw get the magnumut uh summon magnumut uh get a search in hand phase if we get there but we do not let's go game one d-dub your boy takes it over loki the vile now we go to game two, Loki versus Dueling Wave. Can Loki come back now? 1-0 for the wave. So ride the wave, Loki. Uh, Arias dropped. He summoned Lady Labyrinth. Summoned Lovely. Set three cards. That's a great Labyrinth setup, as always. Branded in high spirits in the uh, draw phase to be able to search for the uh, Mercurier so we can plus off the allure. We get our uh, draws because Pfeiffer Patrick sticks to our hand like glue. Uh, Mercurier effect. Uh, be able to do the kit play, kit search for the branded fusion albion effect to foolish burial the albaz so we can summon the cartesia branded fusion comes down summon lubelion uh, lubelion effect tragedy effect search 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 summon uh summon mirror jade and now we have the ad libitum search uh, we summon the karma cannon we chain uh mirror jade uh, to banish a card on the field polymerization because we can keep playing magnum the reliever and mvp of this tournament uh, we reset the Mirror Jade uh, because of the Ad Libitum that we searched. Uh, we banished the other card, and now we have really get into some damage here. Uh, really applying the pressure, and we got a lot of follow-up for next turn. Um, you know, Titanic Clad floating into Quem. Quem then floating, uh, Quem dropping the Mercurial so we can get another Negate. Um, we get the Pot of Extravagance off the top. Uh, draws two. We get the Mercurial back. Uh, Arias is dropped, set a trap, Mercuria becomes in a gate, and uh, I think that's just all she wrote because it's just too much uh, to come back from. Uh, Imper, Magnum the Reliever, pop the other card, Arias, Magnum the uh, Mercuria to negate that, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it, right? We just go in for damage, uh, 1100, try to set Karma Cannon, uh, we brand it in red, revive, boom, and uh, ad lib again, reborns the mirror. Loki the Vile flirting with death. He's down 2-0 right now. He needs this victory to stay in the turn stay in uh the hunt because uh getting losing 3-0 is a really, really devastating loss in this tournament. Even if you lose uh 3-2, you still get two points. Functionally, like you almost had a dub. And um winning uh winning a match getting three points and then losing the next one three two isn't a death knell you can still advance you're more than likely going to be the person that advances so uh we need loki to come back at least get two wins here but we'll see what happens um 
right now we're just going doing our branded plays chimera one of the most broken cards in the deck especially when you get poly uh we get the La labyrinth lady um chimera effect to pop uh labyrinth lady comes down we get the transaction rollback effect to roll back the big welcome summoning lady uh lady effect uh to destroy destroy the chimera uh we set the uh, brandon in red and we get the albion effect and we get the cartesia and our opponent goes in a good position uh not a lot of life points but uh overall you know we've initiated the grind game which is what labyrinth wants to do uh, a great uh, uh you know indicator of whether they'll come back or not lubelion uh we get the welcome we get the lady uh we get the karma cannon we get ariana huge chain right here for the labyrinth player uh albaz uh send him back get the mirror jade back out uh mirror jade chain to banish the scary looking night lady and then we get the dress lady uh we get a luber once a uh, fusion is left to field, bam, we negate and come back at a resource. One of the most misused, uh, un underused effects on a Luber. Uh, Chaos Angel, Banish Albion, a very good play. Uh, outs my whole board, basically. Now we have, we're in a really tough position. You know, Labyrinth's initiated the grind game. They've got their traps. They've got a lot of graveyard set up. Uh, but we've got some stuff too. The Imperm comes down, stopping the Albaz. We get the Cartesia back to hand. We've got Thrust, we've got Poly, we've got Cartesia, and we drew the Magnum off the top in 60. Let's go. Uh, Cartesia effect, summon Albion. Albion effect, banish to summon Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade, uh, send Rinbrum to banish Chaos Angel. Uh, we chain the Bestial. They have to activate it then uh, to reborn the Lady. Lady effect to destroy. Um, a lot of chain links. I'm not even going to get into that. <laughs> uh, we got the Stove. And we lose the Mirror Jade, Mirror Jade effect to destroy everything on the field. Tasking, Talents, Thrust, whatever else it's called. Harpy's Feather Duster, get rid of their back row, uh, or force it out at least, right? Uh, sets everything on the field. Uh, we get Ariana, uh, rip off the top. Polymerization, uh, going to Chimera, Chimera the MVP of the tournament. Destroy two cards, Fusion Dispatch, summoning the Fallen of Albaz to be able to fuse with the uh, Ariana to just get in for some damage. But the chandelier, so clutch, bringing down the um, clock. Clock gets killed by Chimera. We do not get the damage there. Uh, we float now. We've initiated our own grind game. Uh, we've got the Baron of White. We get Cartesia. Uh, and the lady is on the field. And so now he runs over my monster. Big welcome triggers. Chain the lady. Get Imperm. Uh, get Lovely. Back to hand. Lovely destroys and uh, a lot of chain links once that once that like little move is made labyrinth just goes off and off and off so uh, two labyrinth decks in this uh in this tournament interestingly enough we get the negated aluber so we don't get the effect rimbrum and what happened here was <laughs> unfortunately uh internet went out which is great thank you uh t-mobile so we uh loki just took this game because uh, it seemed like he would he was in a winning position so we just gave it to him so right now it's 2-1 for the dueling wave for yours truly uh we go in the uh, draw phase brandon high spirits uh getting the mercurier uh, alluring into the mercurier uh getting the uh albion albion albaz uh getting cartesia cartesia summon a luber right now we're insulated from imperm we're insulated from so much brandon fusion comes down summon the arias uh, we get the albion albion effect fuse uh, fuse into lubelion lubelion pitch brandon opening uh, summon Mirror Jade in defense mode. Uh, get Lubelion. This is when we chain the Karma Cannon. Uh, pop a card. Or no, banish with Mirror Jade. Uh, we summon Quiridus. Uh We get the effect of Grand Gugnall in the graveyard to get the Quem so we can at least initiate the grind game. Our opponent goes, uh, makes the clock. Uh, we get Brandon Retribution, get Brandon Fusion back in the hand for next turn and put him on a really, really difficult situation. They get Lovely from deck uh, to pop a card. What will they hit? And they'll hit the... Brennan Red. Oh, unfortunate. Okay. Um, but we do get the Fallen of Albaz. Fallen of Albaz comes down. We drop the Brennan Fusion. Uh, we get the Lubelion uh, to Fuse. But unfortunately, we had already used its effect, so we're kind of screwed there. We just want to remove a monster from the field. Probably should have a lovely, but, you know, it is what it is. You can't play perfect every time. Uh, some Stove. Pop the Quem. Then we get Arias. Arias the Clock. Uh, Quem, Mercurier, Arias, so many things are happening. 
but we're in a really good position still. Uh, very hard for them to, to get over this and out this. Uh, we're fusing on their turn, summoning Mirror Jade, and now once we hit Lady, it is functionally over, and the opponent surrenders, and Dueling Wave takes it 3-1. Now we're going to get you guys to a little bit of a different uh, matchup. We have a Group Y matchup between Carl and OG. Uh, we've got Tier Laments Horse on the south side of the <laughs> of the screen, and then we've got Voiceless Voice on the top of the screen. Uh, Voiceless Voice Melodious, I believe. And so uh, Tier Laments is making their customary standard plays of milling a lot and random stuff happening. But hey, it's really fun, so let's do it. No, no judgment here. Uh, banishing the Havness off the off the out of the hand is kind of crazy, but hey, it works. Uh, we got Zombie Vampire Toad, Bakuma Shark. Uh, Mali and uh, Telemus Kashtira. Forbidden Droplets comes down. Uh, Toad goes into the graveyard. Bring back a resource. We set one card. We can't really play through that. Zombie, uh, Zombie Vampire foolishes a bunch of cards. And uh, OG surrenders because the writing's on the wall. Uh, OG at the bottom with the voiceless, with the patented broken opening of set one card. Uh, then we got uh, Field Spell coming down. Getting Sheeran. Sheeran effect. Sheeran mill. Go stuff, do stuff. Bestial Magnumut. Let's banish the Havness because she's going to get banished every game, apparently. Uh, Magnumut effect to search, probably get the Sephir. In the end phase, King Sarcophagus. We send the Horus. Uh, we get Imperm on the Merly. We get Glory of Horus. We get Malicious, the Delicious. And then our opponent proceeds to punch us in the mouth. Uh, we get Dark, the Dark Charmer. Uh, but unfortunately, we misplayed because we played in the wrong zone. Uh, we move on, Safira, pitch Safira, get voiceless, uh, ritual spell, get barrier, uh, let's go get the, yeah, activate the ritual spell, summon big dude, big dude, low, Saliak effect, negate, uh, Saravis to negate that, now we're in a solid position, we get low back, yay, uh, Sheeran effect, big bungus effect, negate that, this guy, and we get Carl surrendering, so we're right now 1-1. One, one. So we've got, again, Tier Limits at the bottom. we got Castier Fenrir coming down. Busted card, especially in this deck. You get Tier Limits, Castier Search. You get the Imseti. What a hand. My dude Carl is going off right now. Tier Limits Scream. Summoning the the freaking, what's his face? Rhino Heart. Oh, we get the uh, Havness Effect or Merly. They all look the same. Uh, we get the Rukalos. We get the Tier Limits, Castira. Banish Tier Limits, Castira. Send the top three cards to our deck. We get Malicious. Malicious comes down. And end phase. That Malicious just hanging out, bro. Never thought I'd see Malicious as an end board piece. But we do stop Rule Colos with the Imperm. We get Diviner. We get Ash. We get called by the one of. Let's go. We mill a bunch of cards. We get the Triaeus Hierarchia. Tribute. Summon. Get Diviner. Boom. Low. Low. Get Barrier, probably. Kestria Fenrir comes down. Just says, nah, dog. That's not cool. Barrier. Boom. We get Saphira, Saphira effect, foolish ritual spell, summon a card, oh yeah, there we go, Lois tributed, she's coming back, you can't get rid of her, no matter what you do, Big Bungus is only 3600, relinquished anima, anima more like, takes that card, call by the grave, back to the deck, boom, we got uh, old man Seravis, bam. Field spell, really holding it down. Dynamondo. We get the guy in the pendulum scale. We get the guy back to the hand. We get the ritual spell. Oh no. Oh no. Dynamondo wasn't triggered. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. What is going on? And we lose big guy. And that, ooh, that's rough. Catch your offender really caring. Uh, we get the trap face up. Can that be enough? Probably not because we don't have a ritual spell monster or ritual monster. We get the uh, Kaleido Heart. We get the. Oh my god, so many actions. You can't even commentate on this stuff at this point, dude. You get Imseti. Boom. Fenrir. Boom. And and that's it. Board cleared. Not many life points left. Kashtira Fenrir Search. You get another Telemans Kashtira. Oh, you drop that card. Boom. You get the Mill 3. Boom. Boom. Shadow Shaw Beast. Oh, oh. All the bricks were in the deck this time. Let's go. Let's go to your... Uh, we get the Link Monster. Bring back Relinquish Anima. Sprite Sprint. Sprint Effect. Send Merly. Merly Effect. Shuffle back. Get Mud Dragon. Targeting Protection for the win. And OG surrenders. OG come back in this game four. 
we've got Melodious coming down. Melodious. Melodious. They're all Melodious to me. I don't want to learn their names. Melodious. Melodious comes down. The spell for Melodious. We get Fusion Melodious. We get this card. We get another card. We get effects going off. All sorts of effects. Look at that one. Look at that one there. Look at that. That pendulum thing just touched that one. Oh, there we go. Beyond the pendulum's down. That means pay 12. Feel great, right? That doesn't sound as good as pay 8. Feel great, but we're still there. Oh, another card. Look at this. We've got plus a million. Another card. Boom. Level 4. We just pendulum summon a ritual. That's what we're doing nowadays. We get exceed the pendulum. Boom. More cards. Unchained Abomination. Because that's the best Link 4s we got. We took out all the good ones. Yay. Uh, Kashir Fenrir comes down. Most One of the most broken cards <laughs> ever made. Uh, we take out the Field Spell Search. Uh, Unchained Abomination is going to get taken down. Seravis comes down. Uh, Till Limit Scream. We get the Ash on the Sheeran effect. Will that be enough? Sheeran Scream. Uh, voiceless voice effect. Ooh, the beast again. What mills? Uh, voiceless voice gangster comes down, but we don't have the negate, unfortunately. Ooh, this is rough. This is a rough position. Carl is putting up the pressure with the horse cards now. The horse cards are the most loyal cards in the game. We put down Tier Laments, Kashtira, Kashtira, Mill. A couple cards from the deck. We get happy. We get glory. We've got so many beaters on the field. My goodness. But this guy can't be destroyed by battle. He can't be killed. But King Sarcophagus has an effect. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't read it, it does. Zombie Vampire, mill five. Oh, broken. Or four. Is it four or five? I don't know. Then we do more stuff. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at that guy. Who is that guy? No, I'm just kidding. Unchained Abomination. Going for that end phase destruction. Sprint. Merly. Rule Col uh, Col Arise, whatever, the heart one, go, Mud Dragon, oh my god, Broken Board, Telemans, unbelievable performance here, really, really put it on him, uh, we get the guy back, uh, low, effect, scream, effect of Soliac, negate, we chain to tribute, we get the voiceless, we get all the effects, Fenrir, banish, and that is unfortunately it ladies and gentlemen because how do you come back from that we get the Safira in hand but my god it's like 12 cards to two cards we get dangerous guy we get pearl rhino popping because yep that card has a, another effect <laughs> uh unchained abomination and it's over carl taking it three one in group y ladies and gentlemen now let's get to some riveting branded gameplay because i know you guys love it Right now we're going uh, yours truly again versus Tupac. Uh, we're going to go with Cartesia. Cartesia drop. Summon Guignol. Guignol tragedy. In fact, Foolish Bear of the Ad Libitum. Uh, no puppet. Branded is so much more fun. Uh, Albion effect. Banish. Summon Lubelion. Lubelion effect. Albaz uh, and himself into Mirror Jade. Lubelion comes down. They're all Lubelion. Lubelion. Lubelion for three. Uh, we did not get Brandon lost for some reason because our brain didn't work. We get Cartesia back. We get Brandon Red in hand. And we have a set Brandon Red, so we have lots of follow-up. Lightning Storm. Oh, God, we didn't play around Lightning Storm that much. But, hey, it's fine. We'll banish the Quem because we're dumb. Uh, right South comes down. So many cards are coming down. Boom. Unicorn. Brandon Red. Let's go. We're going to summon some stuff. Bam. Summon Chimera. Adlib. Back to Mirror Jade. Boom. Let's pop some cards. Snatch Steel. Bam. My God, we lost Mirror Jade. Now we're going to get some effects in the end phase, get the Brand Fusion back to hand. Mir J dies, and then we go Albion, Albion, Brand of Sword, Brand of Sword effect, bring back Quem. Ah, uh -uh, yeah, we have the way to recover the Quem. Uh, we get the Fight for Patchwork. We have 12 cards in hand. We have Brand of Loss coming down. We have Fusion Dispatch. Bam, Fusion Dispatch, summoning Cartesia, Cartesia effect. Brand of Fusion, Brand of Fusion. Boom, Lubelion, Lubelion effect. Pitch, Brand of Lost, Cartesia. Stuff is going off. They can't chain. Magnum the Reliever. Boom, for free. Look at that. We get eight. Mega super duper gangster with 12 attacks. I call him engine reset. Magnum the reliever. Pop. 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 Everything's gone, dog. Every time. We get the brand of fusion. Boom. Draw a card. That's Yu-Gi-Oh! nowadays. You get four cards on the field, five cards on the field, six cards in hand. Your opponent has two cards and they can go cry. Bam. Tupac not only come back from the dead, but can he also win this game? Infinite permits on the Luber, functionally an FDK sometimes. But we have the branded opening to get the Quem. And sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough. We just go to end phase. Unfortunately, the, the thrust didn't work because we didn't have a 
good hand trap activated against us. Well, actually, we had the best hand trap activated against us, not one of the ones that get wrecked by thrusts. So then we go boom, boom, boom. Look at all these effects. Fawn of Albaz. Let me just take that guy real quick. Bam. Summon Mirror Jade. Whoa, whoa, what's up? Big comeback. Let's go. Uh, Banish Al uh, the Aluber. Get the Albion effect, but it gets ashed. Who knew? Who? Why not save it? I'm just kidding. Uh, and the Tupac surrenders. We have game three. Can Tupac come back? Who will win? A dead rapper or a small YouTuber? I know who my money's on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got Quem going, uh, sending Cartesia to Graveyard, Brand Infusion, Brand Infusion to Lubellion, Lubellion effect, Quem effect, so many effects, Tragedy effect, let's go, get Adlib, Adlib most broken card in the game, Blazing Cartesia, Fallen of Albaz, Mirror Jade, Albion, boom, Brand in Red, let's go. So many cards, so many broken things. Harpy's Feather Duster to take care of the Brand in Red, what a combo. We get the Unicorn off the top. Mirror Jade Banish. Fenrir's in the hand. It's all good. Fenrir, boom. Get Theosis. We're still getting our cards. Bam. We'll summon uh, Dragostapelia to just ruin their levels and ruin their effects. But it's okay. Quem comes down. Quem grabs Mirror Jade from the graveyard. Reborn yourself, my friend. We get the Dragostapelia negate. Unicorn. He takes a card from the extra deck. No one cares. Gets the... Um, Cast your birth. We got a rise heart down. We've got three level sevens on the field. We banishing some stuff off the top. We have 60 cards, though. It's fine. Mirror Jade banish that guy. And now we have birth. Birth comes back. Bring that guy back. Everybody come back. Everybody come back. Albaz. Fuse. Look at these fusions. We get the guy. He gets another guy. Quem. No, not Quem. No. That guy floats. Titanic clad. Go. 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 Damn, man. We just can't get it catch a break that birth is busted brand sword return that back to the deck so we can fuse with a winged beast maybe i don't know uh tragedy effect set brand in red could have done that at the end of the turn but whatever uh oh no fender is still a bit negated we forgot uh mercurial effect let's get all these guys right 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 birth okay cool great albion effect now that birth's out the way we can play we've got an empty graveyard though man can these guys banish a luber effect brand of fusion brand of fusion effect set effect another effect can't even keep up with how fast this is. Lubellion, pitch, summon. Summon, big dude. Blazing Cartesia, effect, summon, Quertus. Make them zero. Basically, direct attacks. Yay, let's go. And I uh, probably should attack with the one dude a couple times, but whatever. And that's 3 0 there. Uh, you know, small YouTuber versus dead rapper. It just it is what it is. Now, here we have another Group Z matchup. Uh, slimy w slimy raven versus crow goo we've got two combo decks uh we got phantom knight adventure versus uh ad emancipator uh let's see if our boy crow goo can come back here uh or whether slimy raven will take this match to give himself three points in the groups uh we've got a lot of phantom knights effects coming down a lot of level three action going three axes phantom knights is there any other kind uh we get the effect to pop pop effect special summon back as level fours then we do another effect, and we get another effect. Bam, so many effects. Rank this guy up. Bam, we just got a Appaloosa at home. Now, can Adam Anspeter break this board? Without, man, with the Miracle Rupture, with the double or nothing, that's a rough, that's a rough hand, right? But we did just flip him face down. Whoa, what happened? <laughs> uh, we get Ghost Ogre from the deck, interesting. Hey, it probably will work. Does does enough against Adam Anspader because they need two cards to go off. Uh, we're looking for something off the top. Can we get anything interesting? We get the Roxy's, baby. Roxy's the most broken card in this deck, apparently. We get the Kokimiru guy. We get another Kokimiru guy. Bam. Another effect. Uh, Dropsies. Now we go into Link 2. Now we go into 1,000 Life Points. Now we go into Roxy's again. Now we go into a Drag Eye. Drag Eye. Oh, my God. Oh my god, negate! Oh my god, now he's gonna bounce his whole board! It's over! It's over! Going second through a Appaloosa, basically! Get out of here, bro. What an amazing performance. Why would we do that? Why would we not keep the negate? What is going on? Why did we not keep the negate? Someone explain to me why did we not keep the negate? Okay, now I don't know who's gonna win. Right now, this is a really weird matchup. We get Typhon, and Typhon doesn't bounce. What's going on? Does he something that matter? I don't understand. Call by the grave on the rival golem. Uh, we get the 
Blacklist Shoujo attacking over Typhon. Uh, why wasn't he bounced? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. You know, we'll, we'll, be, sure, we'll be sure to ask Lamy Raven in the post-game interview. Uh, Rider of Amasir comes down, get the token, token, Faithful Adventure. Flip that guy. Make it that guy. Faithful Adventure triggers. Get this. Pitch. Effect. Get another right. We get the Draco back. Draco back on it. And, uh, yeah, but that can't run over BLS. And then we get Snow. Snow effect. Foolish. Uh, or flip face down. Blacklist of Soldier. He's going to be banishing a card on the field. We get two dudes back, banish the token, snow runs over, but we're surviving right now. Slimy Ram with 4,900 life points, 9,000 for Crow Goo. Uh, we get Rider Ramus here, token comes down, uh, dude pitches, uh, Faithful Adventure triggers, gets the gets the chick again. We go over the snow, 2,000 over 1850. Black Lister Soldier still hanging in there, has not been on the field in any game ever this long. Snow banishes seven, flips that face down, battle phase, runs over, this dude banishes, bam. Oh no, he just gains, he's 6,000? <laughs> Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, can't touch him, bro. We get another two level threes coming back because Torn Scale or whatever is broken. Uh, adventure play, right, uh, reinforcements, uh, Rhoda, whatever it's called, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we get the Phantom Knights of Fogblade coming down. Boom, we summon this guy, and then we go into a uh, Chick. Chick negates uh, uh, Fairy Tail Snow and... And outs uh, our boy BLS. Doki Doki off the top. Nibiru, what? What are we doing? What is going on, bro? Oh my gosh, he good. This is the greatest grind game I've ever seen this day. Danger Jackalope. Came back to three on the most recent list. Go check it out on our list. Uh, Tuchinoko, Faithful Adventure. We get Griffin. We have Doki Doki staring down Tuchinoko. Who would have thought that a turn 12 game would happen? This is a miracle, ladies and gentlemen. This doesn't happen in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, we got two set We got a set. Mo two set monsters on turn 14 in Yu-Gi-Oh. We are getting back Dragite in defense mode. Is that Does that card must revive in defense mode? Is that what it is? Uh, Doki Doki. We got something off the top. We're going to bounce some cards off the field. Bye-bye. Uh, we put all the other ones to the back of the deck. We got... Why is Dragite in defense mode? Am I tripping? Uh, Pitch Faithful Adventure. Jackalope. We're just trying to defend. But we do have the best out in the game in Dragite who just can bounce like five cards. And three, four, five. Five cards can be bounced. What an amazing card. And 3,000 for game. Boom. Now we got game two, Krogu versus Slimy Raven. Slimy Raven going first again with Phantom Knights, making the standard play, Cherubini, pitching uh, Adventure, Chick, uh, getting right, right effect, doing all the all the jazz, getting um, Fateful Adventure, getting Griffin Rider, Griffin Rider set, uh, Nibiru coming down, trading for the Griffin Rider, not a bad move. Uh, you get the one adventure token, you get the Draco back, you get the uh, Phantom Knights, you get to upgrade the Phantom Knights into the trap card, do this card, uh, to get Torn Scales for follow-up for next turn, and we got an Ogre. So functionally, we got like two points of interruption here. Uh, can we get through this? One Imperm on this, that functionally feels really devastating. But Dropsies is broken. Dropsies, Prank Kids, Prank Kids Roxies, let's go, make Gallant Granite float do some oh no walk right into that one man that was rough okay and that is okay i don't know what's happening <laughs> uh then we go torn scales pitching adventure adventure summon making the break sword break sword pop itself and gallant granite oh no oh no is it over ladies and gentlemen we get the coming down in defense mode of a uh, kokimiru guy kokimiru ghost ogre oh no full damage is coming this guy triggers, sets a trap, Phantom Knights, Phantom Knights, that's what they are, they're Phantom Knights. Let's go, we float, well not float, we upgrade into him, the Appaloosa at home, we get Faithful Adventure, we get Adventure, we get Wandering Griffin Rider for the negate, cause that's what we do. GG's, 1-1 one, one in this combo matchup. Now we got to go to game three. Game three, Adam Mancipator finally gets to start versus the uh, Adventure PK. We get the Pranksies, or uh, Dropsies into Meow Meow Moo, Roxies. Uh, we get the Researcher, Researcher effect, doing all its effects. Uh, oh, we get the Blue. Blue gets to draw us a card. 
We get the Doki Doki off the top. Gallant Granite. Imperm comes down. Why so early? I don't know. That's interesting. Maybe because he didn't want to set up the grave. Fair enough. Uh, we get the Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial summon set Tort Scales. Rhoda. Rhoda for the... Uh, Okay, we'll do Faithful Adventure, Faithful Adventure into Token, Token, Summon Ragged Gloves, Trigger Faithful Adventure, grab the uh, Draco back, Faithful Adventure, get Griffin Rider, pitch Draco back, Draco back reattach, Wandering Griffin Rider to the field, Summon two level threes, we go into Cherubini, Cherubini into Graph, Graph effect, Summon Seer from the deck, Seer in the, in the zone, so it can't destroy itself, uh, Clear Link Up play, uh, Cherubini and uh, Phantom Knights, guy do their thing prank kid roxy's or prank kid meow meow moon goes back to the extra deck because stuff is going on xeno guitar whatever his name is then we get the this dude comes down with the other guy the other guy makes into break sword break sword effect popping researchers clearing board right now summoning boom boom two level four summon xyz dragon rank up into appaloosa at home we've made him every single game ladies and gentlemen requiem dragon destroy or no, target, make 53, and uh, that's all she wrote. Wow, OTK, clean. Very nice, very nice. Krogu, but hey, maybe he comes back. Let's see, Adam and Spader gets to go again first. A lot of going second wins here, what I've noticed, which is really nice to see. This is kind of what we were trying to do, um, you know, in this game, um, I want. I, I was hoping this game would last. Some of these games would last a little bit longer, but so far, so good. Um, a lot of really interesting matchups. People are playing like Phantom Knights without Horus. That's crazy. People are playing, you know, Adam and Spader prank kids. Like, let's go. Uh, Gallant Granite Search. You get the Researcher. Researcher effect. Uh, trying to get guys off the top. We get the Doki Doki, so we have some hit for sure, and we'll take all three Doki Doki in one five card uh, thing. Like, is that the second time that's happened this tournament? That's crazy. We get the. Um, Level 2 Tuner, that's not Researcher, Seeker, whatever his name is. Summon Xeno Guitar, we get Herald down, we get Green Falcon, we get Researcher back, we get Dragite um, doing its thing, or Raptite, Raptite doing its thing, summoning an Analyzer, Analyzer effect, trying to rip off the top so we can get one more Negate, if we can grab, there it is, we get the Kokimiru, Kokimiru, we can leave him on the field, or we can go into Digusto Emerald, okay, fair enough. We're going to shuffle back our engine, draw a card. Then we're going to go into... Oh, we're going to get that negate. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. So we got three interrupts on the field versus a um, four-card hand. Uh, I don't know if that'll be enough for the Phantom Knights player. Uh, ooh, the tear top off the top. That would have been rough. Maybe if he had destroyed his own break sword there, he could have summoned tear top, right? But, like, I don't know. Uh, Typhon. And we're still not bouncing, which is weird. I don't know what, why we're not doing that. Okay. Um... We get the Raptite effect, Raptite rip off the top five cards. What do we got? We get the Doki Doki, Doki Doki pitch to special summon from the deck. Make sure to face up, not face down. Uh, this dude triggers flipping that dude face down. We get this effect uh, to rip off the top five new cards. Unfortunately, we don't find any a non-tuner. Uh, we get Leonite, Leonite search. And we're going to find, ooh, the Researcher. Nice snipe. Let's go. We grab the Researcher. Researcher extends. Uh, special summon. Researcher effect. Uh, nib. Some other stuff. There's Seeker. Oh. Oh. Oh, again, I'm with, man, these ratios. <laughs> uh, Dragite. Let's just bounce everything on the field, even though there's only one card. Bam. And I think that's enough for damage. So we we'll just take 3,000, 2,000, 3,000. Very good. All important. Game five. The ultimate deciding match. Who will win? Krogu started off hot with the one win. Then we have the comeback. Two back-to-back -back wins by uh, our boy Slimy Raven. But then we had the clutch sack up victory by Krogu to force the game five. And now we've got the adventure engine coming down. We've got the two level threes for Cherubini. We've got Draco back. We've got Tsuchinoko. We're going off. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go make a Link 3, Link 3 effect, setting Phantom Knight's Fog Blade. We are going to go set the trap, and now we've got a big board to go through. Can Adam and Spader take this? Oh, we got evenly matched, but we'll trade that for uh, Wandering Griffin Rider anytime. Let's go into Main Phase 2 and play this game. We've got two, we got a Negate, and we got a Ghost Ogre coming down. Ghost Ogre clutch from the deck. What is this, 2015? Wow, nothing after that. Okay, so we got Faithful Adventure, get Wandering Griffin Rider. We got Wandering Griffin Rider coming down. We got the Phantom Knights. We get the um, Shade Brigandine. We get the 
um, ragged gloves. We get the ooh, the dark, just mess. That's just rough. People keep forgetting that you just can't summon anything if it's not in the zones. Um, we got Raptite coming down. We got a negate. We got uh, Kokimiru. We've got him searching the Kokimiru Guardian. We got Raptite. Raptite effect gets negated by the trap. We got another evenly in hand, but Block Dragon helps us extend. Block Dragon's so huge for this deck. We get BLS again. BLS, the MVP of this deck. We get three new resources. Gigantes, Researcher. My God, we are plusing like crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Inser, Adam Inspector Seeker. Seeker is seeking to seek to get something from this deck, and he gets a Roxy's, a Roxy's into Meow Meow Moo. Roxy's effect, getting uh, Dropsy's, Dropsy's into Cockadoodle Doo or whatever his name is. 1,000 life points, baby. We're winning in time. Leon, Leonite, come down. Let's go. What, what can we add? What can we add? What can we add? Any Adamant's Picard? Yes, we struck gold. We got the Reborn spell. Now we can extend even more. Extending. Let's go. We got Crystal Wing. We got another extender. We're going to make Drag Eye, baby. Can we find... Oh, we got the blue one. We're going to get another draw. Oh, my goodness. So many pluses. The comeback here is strong, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have thought that would have happened once we saw the opening turn of Slimy Raven and his adventure deck? And we bounce pretty much everything on the field back. And we go to battle phase. 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. Stop me if you heard this one before. Krogu takes it in game five. Great performance by Krogu. Let's go. Now we got a group X matchup. Necroz of Xi'an with his Labyrinth versus Slime Raven. We got the Adventure PK deck. Both of these, both of these guys really need a dub here. Um, without a dub, it's very hard to advance. So we'll see what happens. But we got the adventure stuff coming down. Adventure really, really strong. A uh, lot, a lot of different effects going off. Wandering Griffin Rider. This dude comes down. Trap card set. Uh, Wandering Griffin Rider comes down. This dude comes down. Nib is in the hand, devastatingly threatening the Wandering Griffin Rider. Uh, we got the uh, Cherubini. Cherubini into Graf. Graf into Seer. Seer and that into Big Phantom Knight's guy. Uh, then we're going to do a Reborn play. Boom, we get link five link materials for that combo. Can you believe that? That's insane. Now we're gonna do some more effects. Torn scale summons itself. Torn scales. Pitch adventure. Pitch that. Let's go. Level three. Break sword. Do this. Target him. Pop him. Effect. Summon. Level four. Level four. Nibiru. Wandering Griffin Rider protects. It's cool. Let's go. We're gonna make XYZ Dragon. XYZ Dragon. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Get this card. Banish some cards. Rank up one. Boom. We've got Appaloosa at home on the field again, baby. No problem. No problem. We're just playing. Can we go get this going second? Ariana, we're going to do lovely. We got a negate. Arias, we got another negate. This card is not once per chain. What in the world, bro? What in the world? That card's insane. We've got Typhon. Typhon effect. Or nope, no Typhon effect. Okay, cool. Um, am I tripping? Is like Typhon not coded good? Like, why why not use Typhon's effect? No one's been using Typhon's effect. Uh, destroy a card, standby phase, boom. You get Draco back, bounce her ass. There's no traps. Uh-oh, what are we doing now? What are we doing? That's 21 plus 5 plus 2,000. We just need a little bit more damage, and we got game one here for Slimy Raven. We got 2,000 or 21. 2,000, 2,000. 2000. Man, it was almost like an S Tech victory with that, you know, just 100 over. Or to say it smarter, Slammy Raven's up 1 0, right? Uh, okay, that's not a good opening for Labyrinth. Very bad. Uh, we're going to pitch the Adventure play, get the right of Aramisir. We've got a lot of cards in hand. We got a lot of level threes, a lot of level three action going on. You know, you know what they say about guys that, um, that like level threes. Anyway, let's go. We're going to pitch that card, Trap Trick. Uh, if you guys know what they say about level 3, just comment down below. Let me know. I want to know myself. Karma Cut. Not Karma Cut. Karma Cannon, bro. Karma Cannon. Uh, we're going to get a big welcome. Wow. This is actually coming out to be, like, not horrible for the Labyrinth player because, like, that was a really rough opening. But let's see. We're going to keep going. Trap cards, man. Trap cards are nice. Uh, we're going to uh, summon the adventure, make Nightmare Unicorn, pitch, and it's gone. And Draco back. And ooh, stuff's going off. Oof, negated. Oof, oof, oof. But we are clearing up the game state, getting real simplified, getting into a grind game. And if if um, if the Labyrinth player can get it there, I think we can... Ooh, the FTK. It's like branded Fusion Ash, huh? Uh, we're going to go into Relinquish Stanima, Relinquish Stanima, take the token because of zone placement. Um, somehow it's 2,000 attack. That's funny. I didn't know that's how it worked. 
Uh, keep going. Okay. Then we got the adventure guy. Surprisingly, this turned into a game with that with that uh, opening of the labyrinth player. I thought this was gonna be rough, but you know it's all good. Lovely uh, bounce. Let's pop. Look at this and and the big lord lord coming down, heavenly prison whatever. Uh, summon this. Uh, da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Jada boo. Ba 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 bang. Oh no! Are we doing the one combo? Boom boom. Two level fours. Boom. This guy. Boom. Anima. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I did not take. I did not think it would go this way. I thought it would maybe go like into that one guy, but I don't know. Uh, we're gonna make two level threes. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, we are doing that, right? Okay. No, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, okay, that's what we're doing, right? So break sword floats into two level fours, and then we go into him, and then we search, and then we make Appaloosa at home. Appaloosa at home, baby. If you guys hear any screaming, it's my kids being super loud and obnoxious. All right, so we got 5,900 attack. That's really reasonable. Wow, look at that. Just free FTK. <laughs> All right, cool. But hey, went to turn four. Lab player really, really uh, tried to bring it back there, but this card is very powerful. Now now that Necroz of Xi'an has been really put his back to the wall, he really needs this. <laughs> uh, that's rough. One trap card. We've got some Phantom Knights plays coming down, as they usually do. This is getting really, 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 really insane. The Phantom Knights, yoinky, sploinky, as MBT would say. Look at that. We are getting five materials of links for the price of two monsters. Let's go. What are we talking about? In a trap card. And a trap card. And another trap card. We've got what? In hand, basically three negates. <laughs> How do you beat this? You've got two negates, you got the one trap set, two more traps, and then you have an ash, and then you're gonna make the big guy. Oh my god, this is mind blowing. This is mind blowing, absolutely. Divine punishment. Lovely comes down. Can the library bear come back? Oh my god, how long go? Destroy him. Oh, destroy that card. He's got set three, he didn't OTK him. Lovely, lovely's there. She's gonna do something, and she's negated. Can we stop Harry Ass? Harry Ass comes down, Harry Ass, Oh my god, he does something. Sets a trap card. Trap card activate. And the FTK again. Oh my god. I know how that feels as a brand new player myself. Really, if that uh, big welcome goes through, this game would have been maybe a little bit more devastating. But that Ash, as always, really clutches the victory for the player. Especially one that has a board set up already. It's really, really, really interesting. Uh, then we got the Draco back. Draco back targeting the uh, f uh, token. Token do all this stuff. We're going to just do a yo yoinky sploinky again. We're going to make that guy that has 5 million attack points. No, we're not. We're just going to attack. Oh. Can we... Oh, that card's only in main phase. Oh, no. We're going to OTK. Got, got it. And a clean 3-0 victory for Slimy Raven. Oh, Necroz of Xi'an. Uh, Slimy Raven really looking good uh, for his position to the semifinals. <laughs> Now, just so you haven't had your labyrinth fill, we got another matchup of Loki the Vile versus Tupac. Uh, the going first all-out labyrinth deck versus the all-out going second cash tier uh, uh, blind second deck. Let's see who wins. This is game one. We've got some plates coming down. Fenrir, we've got Unicorn, we've got Theosis, we've got Big Bunguses all over the field. We love to see it. Uh, we got Solemn Strike coming down, stopping the first effect. And now we got Birth coming down. Birth is going to give us back a monster. We've got Fenrir. We've got Fenrir. We've got another guy. My God, is that the MVP of the deck? And we got another Negate coming down. Uh, our boy's now 2,900. Rise Heart, Karma Cannon, flip everything face down. And that is functioning at the end of the turn. Three interrupts is tough to play through. Fair enough. Bot of Extravagance. Especially with that th uh, Talents at hand just breaking you. Uh, Arias. Hairy Ass. Whatever. I think they're all Hairy Ass, right? Um chandelier or clock or whatever they're all the same um look at that go back to the hand trigger lovely lovely pops a card boom boom by birth uh even though it doesn't matter because you never you activate spells uh run that over run that over dark arm dragon so weak in defense mode bro no no chin no chin uh we're gonna make some cash to your plays kaiju uh karma cut again uh, we go to main phase two, end phase, boom, boom, let's go. What do we got next? What do we got next? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Arias, Kaiju, Arias, Imperm. Meeting the Thron thr Transaction rollback to get Big Welcome. Big Welcome, something lovely. That card goes back to hand. Oh, my God. He dodged the Imperm. Lovely. Add the card to hand. Blow up a card. Oh, are we going to OTK? Ariana. Oh, we're going to go in so hard. Attack. 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 
And two box surrenders. Game one goes to Loki. And Loki the Val starts. We got Labyrinth, Labyrinth. We got this, we got that. Bing, bada bing, bada boom. Sha la bada boom. Harpy's Feather Duster coming down, but destroying everything on the field. Lovely Labyrinth, bouncing that. Everything's okay, no big deal. We've got stuff going off. Labyrinth is the most represented deck in this tournament. Cashier Unicorn, Stovey, Chandelier, Welcome Labyrinth, Unicorn, Surgis Theosis, Unicorn Effect, take an extra deck monster, it doesn't even matter. Go, because they run three of everything because they're extravagance. Fenrir, Fenrir Effect, Arise Heart, Arise Heart Effect, Banish three cards from top of your deck, Eat Butt, Birth, Go, summon this guy. Overlay, summon a wing beast from the deck. There we go. Tribute Lanius. Are we going to make Raid Raptor plays? Holy guacamole. We're going to make another play. Raider's Knight. Raider's Knight effect. Summoning. He's everywhere. Everywhere to me. When I close my eyes, it's you I see. Now we got game three here, 1-1 one, one for uh, Cash versus Lab. We got Temple of the Kings. Who would have thought we'd see that card in 2024? Not me. Not me. We're going to keep playing. We're going to make some big welcome plays. I feel like I've said this a million times. Big welcome. Lovely. Stovey. Chandelier. Big welcome. Welcome. Destroy card in hand. It's Fenrir. It's his only engine. It's functionally FTK. Oh, the pot of prosperity at the top is huge. So we're going to evenly matched. Then we're going to pot. And then we're going to... Oh, what does he hit with the destruction? Does he get a destruction effect? Right? No? Hmm. Okay. Evenly matched. Oh, why would you set that? <laughs> All right. Evenly matched is coming down, 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 down. I guess maybe unless you keep it, right? Oh, he's trying to destroy it. Oh. <gasps> Unicorn. My goodness. The stuff's going off. Theosis. Fenrir. This is huge. If he can if he comes back to take this, Loki is in a really rough position because he's already lost to yours truly in the first round. So without a win, it's very hard for him to advance. Big guy. Big guy. Transaction rollback. Huge. Huge. Arias. Arias back. Targeting's gone. Uh, Stovi Torvi, uh, Arias, uh, Summon Lovely. Wow, way to play around that. This is getting into a really intense game. Wow, we got Solemn Strike. Solemn Strike going second is the most big brain thing I've ever seen in my life. Lovely, uh, Welcome Labyrinth to set. Stovi Torvi, the infinite recursion. Boom, bye bye hand. Uh, set this trap. Oh, that's so broken. Run over. Put him on, gotta have it. Loki the Vile with the huge comeback over Tupac. Tupac is now down 2-1 to Loki. Basically, whoever wins this uh, has a decent a a chance of advancing to the next stage of the tournament while the loser probably packs his bags and goes home. We got Big Lady. Big Lady gets imperm. Welcome gets lovely. Lovely destroys. The Fenrir, of course. Too bad we have race thoughts. It's no big deal. And now we're going to battle phase. Even the match. Solid judgment, though. You got judgment, though. We got race off. We got unicorn. We've got imperm for the unicorn. We got silver castle. We got lovely. We've got everything. We're going to destroy a card now. Nope. I don't know how. Oh. We played into the imperm zone. What are we doing? We're still playing the imperm zone. Arias, Ariana. No, there's no Arias. Oh, actually, he's in the hand. Okay. Pop that card. Ash. Ash. Ah. Unicorn. My God, so many effects. Five monsters. And two box renders because he saw the writing on the wall. 3-1 for Loki. Good job, Loki. Uh, we have now advancing through into the play-in matchup for a chance to go to the semifinals because we have so many four-point players in the um, f uh, after the first round that we're going to go into a uh, play-in bracket similar to the NFL playoffs where uh, the we're going to have six players advance. We're going to have the 
uh, three play the six, the four play the five, and those two winners will advance to play um, the top two scorers from the uh, group stages, which was myself and uh, Carl uh, as the first and second seed. The winners of this match, the winner of this match will play Carl, and the winner of the next match will play me in the semifinals. So we've got Labyrinth again. If you haven't enjoyed watching Labyrinth to this point, you're gonna, right? So we got Labyrinth. We've got some Welcome Labyrinth. We've got some Ash. We've got some Big Welcome Labyrinth. We've got some Big Welcome Labyrinth. We've got Labyrinth. We've got Labyrinth Lady. We've got that thing. Uh, that thing comes down. Look at that guy. Look at him go. Oh, and we have the Imperm. Oh, no. And then we have this card. And now what do we do? Do we lose? No. We have the Extender, Keeper, Seeker, whatever his name is. Seeker Effect. Oh, not another imperm, bro. That's devastating. That's devastation. Devastation. We lose. We lose. We lose. <laughs> I mean, hey, we're going to get into grind game, but the Arion off the top's huge. We get the Ash, and now we're doing something. Effect, attack, 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 attack. Big welcome, bounce. Oh, so busted. Big welcome is so broken. Uh, then we get that. We get the big welcome again. Uh, we get the uh, Welcome Labyrinth, Triggering the Lady, uh, get that, uh, get Ariana, Ariana Effect to search uh, Ku Klux, Ku Klux Effect, and uh, yeah, this is a really rough position, but let's see what happens, so we get Big Welcome, boom, Summon Lovely, uh, lovely Lady, Lovely Lady, Destroy, and this guy comes back because he just never leaves the field apparently. Uh, we set Doki Doki, and we're just going to wait here for our inevitable death. <laughs> Labyrinth, dude. They, they, they're like Spain in football. They just kill you by a thousand cuts. Uh, let's go. Another karma cut. Okay. Boom. Boom. This semifinals. Uh, preliminary, I guess, play and match up, whatever. Now we got uh, Adam and Spirit going second or going first. We're trying to really um, defeat this uh, Labyrinth deck that it seems to really struggle going uh, against. But we have some some decent pieces here with Researcher going into Analyzer. Damn. Oh, no, we got one. We got one. Okay, cool. So we're going to get into um, Searching the Kokimir Guardian. We're going to get the Leonite. Can the Leonite rip us off the top? Oh, we got the Seeker. Everything's okay in the world. So we're going to have at least one Negate through an Ash. Uh, it's not bad. Harpy's Feather Duster going uh, first is wild, by the way. Uh, then we got this going into something. Maybe Kokimir Guardian. Yeah, probably Kokimir Guardian is pretty good. Uh, then we got Crystal Wings, so we're going to have two Monster Negates and a Raptite. And let's see what we got. Pot of Extravagance. What can we rip off the top? Two cards in the lab is huge. Uh, Nib is nice. Uh, we're going to destroy that. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So we're going to go to the next one. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Look at that. I stand corrected, baby. Forcing out all the cards. It's good even going first. Uh, destroy all their back row. Uh, Raptite do its effect right now we're in a really good position um unless we play no we can't even play in a nib we have the kokimiru guardian so we get the roxies the meow meow Moo, the dropsies the cockadoodle do uh a thousand life points this guy summoned guardian nibiru it's fine now we got game three i wonder who will win probably the person going first <laughs> that's what happens when you have combo deck versus uh Versus a freaking trap deck, you know what I mean? If you have a combo deck, go first. Trap deck can't break that board. And if you have a uh, trap deck, go first. Combo deck can't break that board. So you're just kind of looking like kind of ine inevitable in a way. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, dude? You know what I mean? Uh, man, I, 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 at this point, I'm just kind of going to chill. Like, no disrespect for Labyrinth or the players that played it. It's a cool deck. I really do like it. It's just like, I've already said the effects a million times. You guys know what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to set the trap. Lovely. We're going to get Lady from deck. Lady's going to give us more stuff. Lovely's going to pop stuff. And then the field spell's going to pop. And we're going to imprim your ass to death. And yeah. So it works. It's a really good deck. Right? Can we extend past this, though? Can we research her? Can we do something? Welcome. Here's Lady. Lady effect. Right? We're going to... So we, we destroy with the field spell, right? And we're going to get the uh, million effects. Because apparently, like, when we use a trap, it just comes right back. <laughs> like, the ultimate recursing, tr recursing. It's like BA of traps. Like, their traps are BA monsters. They just come right back. 
And then we go Ariana, Aria, Ariane. Uh, big welcome again. Uh, Ariane effect, draw a card. And now we're just FTK uh, effect, uh, effectively. Uh, Ariana effect, search. Uh, Ariane to get the chandelier. To get the big welcome. To get the OTK. E Respect of anyone that doesn't want to uh, see them, their life points die. They just kill themselves before they die. That's hilarious. All right. Game four. Can the combo deck shut out the trap deck? Let's see what happens. Fenrir. Doki Doki. Pitch. Summon. 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 Reborn. Effect. Reborn. Extend. Power. Through the defense. Adam Spader really, really clutching it up. Really doing well. Really impressive. I love rocks. That's what someone, when someone plays Adam Spader, that's all they say. They say, I love rocks, bro. Uh, Raptite effect. We are going off. We're going to summon the snow off the Raptite, bro. Nah, just kidding. Seeker. Let's go. Seeker. The Crystal Wang. The Crystal Wang. The wangiest of the wangs. Uh oh, are we going to whiff? Oosh. Big whiff, big whiff. Gallant Granite searching for the research. No, Black Dragon. Okay. Black Dragon effect. Make him BLS. I wonder if there's like a level 10 synchro that you can make. Guess not. Chaos Angel is like a dark and light, right? No more Barone. No more Barone. But my my Barone. But my Barone. I want to play my Barone. All right. Set a bunch of traps. Labyrinth effectively got a chance to go first. Crystal doesn't really do that much against it. <laughs> Solemn strike, bro. It's so broken. Imperm set. In the column, we know what's going on. This is devastating. Fenrir, Fenrir, Imperm, 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 Imperm. Nuts. We're gonna set the researcher, researcher effect, seeker, seeker effect, transaction rollback, Imperm. Oh my God! You can target your opponents. Holy crap! Transaction rollback is insane, dude. Block dragon, block dragon, block, unlock. The block. We're gonna go to rap uh drag guide. Drag guide. He's gonna try to bounce your field. Your field. Oh wait, did we miss? Yeah we did. <laughs> Sorry right, though, we still got game. Alright, we're going to game five. five. Game five. This is the play in for game five. 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 And Labyrinth is going first. And we got double or nothing. <laughs> oh my uh, double or nothing, bro. <sighs> you know when you run double or nothing, you always draw it. Like, like I've never not drawn double or nothing when I played it. <sighs> you see what's going on, guys? It's just... Wow. Boom. Boom. Crazy deck, though. Crazy deck. Lab is really insane. It like puts up such modest looking boards that turn into like absolute insanity. Fenrir. You're gonna die, bro. Look at that. Look at that, bro. I don't know what's going on. Bounce probably, right? Or no? Do we lose lovely? We do lose lovely. But, you know, it's fine. Probably, right? Theoretically. Maybe engage a grind game. Just get rid of the ladies. I don't even know. Karma cut. Karma Cannon. Karma Cannon, right? And we're just going off more. Going off, going off, going off. Boom. 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 Ariana. That guy. Go. 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 Go, Power Rangers. Do, 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 do. Oh, my God. We're running that? That's insane. That's crazy. I, dude, this Labyrinth deck is wild. Ariana, 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 Ariana. I got so many effects, bro. All right, Labyrinth set up its play and it's pretty much done evenly and doesn't matter, I don't think, right? Because you don't have an extender, right? Because you're lovely. No, there's no lovely. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. They're all gone. Can you come back, though? You still have five cards in hand and the welcome. Like, can you do something? 
Can we come back? Can you do 4,000 damage? Damage. Nope. <laughs> oh no. It's over. It's over. Maybe. We got the researcher, which is nice. The researcher is going to do some, probably. We got Kokimiru, which is nice. These duels are crazy how long they take for freaking a couple turns. Look at that. And then another effect. Adam and Sepedo Seeker to make a crystal win. Because we can't go to battle because it's evenly matched. And we got a million effects. Yeah, you just can't win. That's impossible. All right. I'm pretty sure I know where this is going. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so now we got uh, Slimy Raven versus OG. Uh, we got Voiceless Voice, Melodious, playing against Adventure PK. Uh, OG has won the dice roll, and so he's elected to go first. So let's see what happens. And we've got the full Melodious uh, play going off right now. It is absolute insanity. We got another guy. We've got floating. We've got effects. We've got more effects. We've got absolute dragon float beyond the pendulum. He floats into a negate broken. Let's keep going. Keep going. More effects. More effects. Uh, we got negate. Yay. We've got a uh, sound forcing barrier coming down. We got six cards in hand and we got five on the field. Let's go. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. So we... Um, Okay, cool. So, yeah, apparently this is all the only replay I was sent. So, what they did was after this game one, they just called it. Uh, so, OG advances. I'm not going to even question it. Welcome to the semifinals, guys. Apologies for no face cam here. Uh, my face cam was having some issues. So, I just uh, decided to go with this way so we can get through this tournament because I want to bring you guys the results. Um, if you want to see my face, just rewind a little bit and you'll see it and watch it to your heart's content. Then you can come back here. And uh, enjoy the rest of these matchups. So we're going to start out with the first semi-final matchup. We've got Tier Laments, piloted by Carl. And uh, Labyrinth, piloted by Loki the Vile. Loki has managed to come back all the way from that first loss against the Dueling Wave early on. He's fought his way back to get enough points to get into the play-in for the semifinals. Defeated a really good player in the semifinal. And then here he is. Um, in the semifinals, playing against Carl, who is undefeated so far through this tournament. Uh, so, great comeback for him. We'll see, you know, the results. Is hopefully, this is going to be a great game, so let's just get into it. And so, per the usual, we've already seen these decks. Tier, uh, uh, Labyrinth, instead of going like crazy, it just sets four, which is interesting, because usually they just go off by discarding a bunch of cards, whatever. Uh, tier Limit's going off, milling a lot of cards. Uh, drew some tier names, actually, interesting enough. Tears of the Overroot, um, actually a really interesting card. Really shows out in, in this tournament. Uh, it's able to remove and then reset a card, but that set card really just kind of is unusable unless you get fused with it. So uh, Tears of the Overroot, really underrated card, really powerful. Uh, some tier elements fusions happening. You get uh, Big Kaleido Heart, uh, Shuffle Back a Back Row. Uh, we've got Karma Cannon set. Karma Cannon flips everything face down. The Labyrinth player goes. Uh, Loki's dropping the Hand Trap effects. Uh, we got the Transaction Rollback Mirror Match, apparently, where we get to copy Karma Cannon, set the cards face down, and then we drew Pearl of Rhino. We get Arion, Arion. Um, effect to get Lady, Lady Summon. Uh, then we get Tier Elements. Uh, Perlerino again, or Planet Perlerino. So now we're going to game two, and uh, we're going to have Tierlemen start off because uh, obviously we don't want to see uh, Labyrinth go first, even though they do have uh, a lot of options to still be able to play. Arias is an insane card, lets you set a card from the deck. Somehow they empty out their whole hand turn one and still have like 20 cards at the end of the turn, which is really impressive. So uh, this is, keep in mind, a Tierlemen's turn. <laughs> Tielemans, how does it feel? You've gone from the bully to getting bullied. Get wrecked. Um, we get the Rhino Heart play. Losing King Sark is really huge because now Tielemans have to play from behind. Uh, we get the Sheeran play, Sheeran effect. Uh, Tielemans grief, summoning uh, Merle from the deck. Merle effect, mill, Sheeran, shuffle, get Collider Heart, shuffle. And uh, we get to shuffle back the graveyard, all the graveyard cards. Uh, really important effect, actually, like really strong. 
And now we're at the position that we are. We have Temple of the Kings. <laughs> we have to ban that card for this format. Just kidding. We get Big Welcome Labyrinth. Ariana unlocks everything. Every hand becomes so broken. Uh, we get Lovely lovely Effect. And then we get some Chains. Stovey Torvi. We get Card Back to Hand. We get Chaos Angel. Where are the tuners? Uh, everything goes to grave. We have no more cards in hand, but yet somehow we're in a way better position. Uh, special summon Ku Clock. Welcome Labyrinth Effect. Summon Lady. And now we are starting the tier turn, and it's still going. <laughs> oh my god. I'll say this Labyrinth is cool. It is obnoxious. <laughs> like, it's unbelievable. All right, so we get uh, the Ice Dragon's Prison, Arian Effect. Arian uh, gets Harry Ass, uh, Merly Effect. Then you get to Shuffle Back, Summon Mud Dragon. Some more effects Malicious to Delicious, Dark, Dark Effect. Summon Lovely. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, that's filthy. Transaction, transaction rollbacks affect those kind of ass, but like on the field. But dude, that's crazy. Wow. Look at that. All of that effect power, bro. Dark is gone. We get the surge havenness. Oh, so broken. Called by the grave. That's a really good draw. My dragon. Well, big welcome. Lady, havenness, uh, airy ass. My God, look at all of these effects, the chains, the moves. The, it's like you don't even know whose turn it is anymore. You never do. That's modern Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. It's everyone's turn. We need to play that communist music. Da, 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 da. Carl, man. Wow, that's rough. That's rough. This this labyrinth uh, deck is absolutely bonkers. Five monsters on the field. If this dude made like a Yama, it'd be over. Loki the Vile with the insane comeback all the way from losing in group stage 3-1 to yours truly to all the way back to smashing an undefeated player in the semifinals so far 2-0 for Loki the Vile. Can Carl come back? Can he make this a series? We get Dangerous. We get Medora pitched. We get another Malicious. Malicious effect. Summon. We get Beatrice. Beatrice. Send a card to grave. Havness effect. Shuffle back, get Mud Dragon, Rhino Heart, get the other effect, get Bahamut, Bahamut effect. We get totally awesome. Totally awesome effect, negate. And then we've started the turn with three cards, four cards. And can a trap deck going second with four cards out this board? Can it? Can it do it? L losing Lady, that's rough. And now we have Transaction Rollback, which will get us another trap effect. Totally awesome, Medora. Uh, shuffle back all these guys and Loki the Vile sees the writing on the wall and we have Carl taking that one Carl's got to do it Carl's down 2-1 he has to win this to force the all important game 5 Lab is going first they have two solemn strikes a big welcome and a lady pot of extravagance what are we doing here welcome Labyrinth and Labyrinth Labyrinth really creative name right there we have glory we have solemn strike for that we have Foolish Burial Goods, Sending Trivi Karma, Trivi Karma Effect, Searching Field Spell, or no, Searching Scream, Field Spell Effect, Welcome Labyrinth, Chick Effect, Grave Digger's Trap Hole, ooh, Broken Card, uh, Ariana, Summon, Search, Pitch, Cash Tira, Grave Digger's Trap Hole, Boom, 2000 Life, and it's negated, Labyrinth, Labyrinth, Summons, Destroy, Tier Limit Scream, Big Welcome Labyrinth, Summon, Return, Torvi, Storvi, Torvi, Borvi. Everybody, add your card to your hand. Add your card to your hand. Labyrinth going off. 3,000. 16. Big welcome, Labyrinth. Chain, 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 chain. Oh, and that's enough. And that's all she wrote because we're still in the battle phase. So some chain links. Can we get anything going? Can we have a last gasp from Carl? Will he survive? Will he make the finals? No. <laughs> all right. Congrats to Loki the Vile for making the finals, battling all the way back as an underdog story. Man showing out in this tournament.
Uh, we're fighting for a spot. Will Loki the Vile play against the man who took him down in round one in the group stages? Or will he fight against Voiceless Voice Melodious in the finals? OG Dueling Wave, who will it be? Let's get this going. We've got, as always, me losing the uh, hit rock, paper, scissors, because apparently I am retarded. Uh, Diviner of the Herald sending, uh, sending Trias Hierarchia, Hierarchia effect tribute, then summon low from the deck by the Herald effect, setting up the trap card. We've got Barrier, we've got Trap, we've got Saphira. Saphira effect the special summon, the ritual summon the Skull Guardian, Skull Guardian are low on the field. We get the effect of the trap, the trap shuffle back, special summon uh, Big Boy Saravis. Uh, summon the one card that can tribute on your opponent's turn. You get the Pendulum Scale guy. He gets to return to the hand and add a ritual spell to your hand. Broken. Uh, Brandon's going second. Alubra effect. We got blessings. And he summons the negate. Uh, we got Brandon lost. Skull Guardian negate that. We've got tasking talents. We negate that. This is so great. <laughs> Brandon Fusion. And we have the Ash, of course. We've got Duel 2, uh, Dueling Wave, down 0-1 to OG, and it's not looking good again. Imperm on the Blazing Cartesia. We're going to set a card and pass. Thank you, Tasking Talents, Thrust, whatever the hell your name is. Literally useless. Uh, we're going to summon uh, Grand Gugnol with Cartesia's effect. Grand Gugnol effect draws out the impermanence. Brandon and Red will stop that, give us a Mirror Jade, and will still give us a Foolish Burial effect. Mirror Jade effect... We walked right into that one, but hey, we're going to banish the Trias Hierarchia because we have to. Uh, Diviner of the Herald, Elder Antiantis, Triggers. We get the Guggenol effect uh, that we sent off the Guggenol. Quiridus is summoned low. Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade will destroy everything in the end phase because of the Antis destruction. Uh, Quiridus is holding it down. We summon Skull Guardian. Uh, Skull Guardian and low. We have the Negate online. We have Saphira effect to be able to Ritual Summon again. Uh, summoning big boy uh we may queritus queritus uh, to stop everyone to, to make them all zero and it's not looking good right now but we do have the branded fusion uh and we get the cartesia back thank you recursion really nice end phase main phase three blazing cartesia branded fusion let's go making albion albion effect fusion summon making lubelion lubelion effect and uh og surrenders seeing the writing on the wall Game three, Voiceless Voice will lead this time, and uh, we'll see what they can set up. We got the pre-prep of rights, a really, really strong card in the deck. Uh, Silent Forcing Barrier lets us get the low. Then we get to Ritual Summon Skull Guardian, low effect to bring itself back. Skull Guardian to search, Channeling 1, Channeling 2. We get Seravis, low effect, setting another barrier. Uh, then we get to Saphira, shuffle back, summon Seravis, making the, um, what the hell is this card called? Blessings, yeah, making the blessings. Then we get another uh, summon low again to make the negate live. Uh, can Brandon play through this board? Let's see. So we got Albaz. Albaz effect. Uh, Skull Guardian is drawing out the uh, negate. Uh, bless uh, Cartesia. Cartesia effect. Uh, branded opening. We're going to summon a Luber. A Luber effect uh, to get the Branded Fusion. We get Fight for Patchwork. Uh, getting what we need. Blazing Cartesia. Uh, the Silent Forcing Authority uh, or Voiceless Voice, whatever pop card uh outs the board meaning that chimera is no longer alive with brand fusion being negated it is over masterful done masterfully played by uh og on that one to stop every negate we got game four we have branded versus voiceless og wave let's see cartesia summoning gignol gignol man that double branded ash over there uh, Brand of Fusion Ash is really, really broken in the hand. We got Magnum the Reliever putting back Polly. Brand of Fusion draws the Ash. It's fine. It is what it is. We are kind of expecting that. We get Quem. Uh, Quem effect to Foolish Burial, the Fallen of Albaz. We get Cartesia back to hand. We have a set card, Brandon Red. Uh, we have everything that we need. We have all that we... Oh, Brandon opening, not Brandon Red. Uh, we get to banish the Brand of Fusion to pop... Uh, using Magnum, Magnum the Reliever's effect, we get Bestial Sarnier to stop the Saphira, Blazing Cartesia to fuse, making Dragos to Pelia, and then we get to make some effects. Broken. So busted. Um, we get to do Enemy Controller, uh, making Mirror Jade, and uh, that's all she wrote. Now, we are 
ultimately in the final game of the semi-finals game five all important game five whoever wins this goes to the finals to face down loki the vile the man who bought fought back all the way so let's get this let's see who wins voiceless voice will lead and they choose what for branded to go first what is going on man cited in the evenly match just to devastate me i feel it okay brandon high spirits effect let's get out uh pitch the Albion, get the Cartesia, Aluber, we're going off, effect Valor on the Aluber, but Cartesia is there, uh, we're going to get the Gugnall effect, Gugnall uh, to send to the graveyard, a Rinbrum, Brandon Fusion effect to send Albaz, Lubelion, Ghost, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion to counter the Lubelion, we'll set a card, we'll do the uh, Brandon Red effect and Blazing Cartesia to the hand, get us some recursion, and our opponent will go to battle phase, we'll drop the Brandon Red uh, to make the Dragostapelia ad libitum to reborn the Aluber. Aluber to surge us follow up. So if we lose all those cards, it doesn't matter. Evenly match, we'll lose that. Dragostapelia is enough to stop their search. And there she wrote that she, whatever, whoever she is, she wrote it. Branded game five, dueling wave in the finals. Game one of the finals, Labyrinth versus Branded. And again, Dueling Wave versus Loki the Vile. Loki the Vile thought all the way back from round one to get the Salty Run back against Dueling Wave. Can Loki the Vile complete the best comeback in FK format history? Let's find out. A win of the Rock, Paper, Scissors is huge. Pot of Extravagance off the top. Six cards banished. Drawn Arias and Ariana. What a busted draw. Ariana effect. Getting the Ku Clock, Ku Clock effect, Chandelier effect, traps, traps all over the place. Uh, chandelier effect, special summon this card. Welcome Labyrinth to summon Lady. Big welcome Labyrinth. Lady, effect to summon, get him, uh, summon Imperm, summon Imperm, lovely, lovely effect to destroy card in my hand. And we lose ad lib. And then another card activates, give us big welcome Labyrinth. Now we have. Our opponent going, the branded player dueling wave. Yours truly, Blazing Cartesia, called by the grave. Arias, six chain links. We make Gugnol. Arias, called by the grave, negates the Ku Clock. My opponent cannot activate a trap this turn, that turn that it was set. Now, Edgem Chain triggers. Gugnol tr triggers. Triggers chain link three. Lady triggers chain link four. Chain link five. Chain link seven to get Welcome Labyrinth. Transaction rollback. Draw, draw. Search. Queridus. We're trying to go for the OTK. Get the Queridus to lower all their guys to zero so we can punch over them. Fight for patchwork. Getting us more materials. Queridus. Negated. Polymerization. Fusing into Magnum the Reliever. Tears of the Overroot. Stops it. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all she wrote. Game two. Branded leading first. Going against Labyrinth. The double uh, FTK against Branded in the hand is very devastating. Two Ash Blossoms, but it's fine. We've got enough. We've got all that we need. Aluber, Normal Summon, Blazing Cartesia. Blazing Cartesia effect, Fuse into Guignol. Guignol effect, Foolish Titanic Clad. Branded Fusion, uh, getting Ashed. Polymerization, Fusing into Magnum the Reliever. Edgem Chain, getting the Fight for Patchwork. Magnum the Reliever, returning the Poly to the hand to draw. Branded in red to return to be able to Fusion Summon into Mirror Jade, and then summoning off of our uh titanic clad the quem quem sending the fawn of albaz and returning the cartesia to hand enough set up through an ash for a branded play uh, now we've got ariana ariana effect he's going to battle phase quem this draws out the mirror jade effect this draws out a masterful play by loki the vile to remove all his monsters from the field forcing yours truly to banish the blazing cartesia from the field ashing the guignol the second effect of Gugnall to not be able to get something from the deck or the extra deck. Um, now we're going to add Brandon Fusion to hand. Probably should keep the Ash for that, but it is what it is. Welcome Labyrinth. Summoning Ariana. Ariana bouncing or destroying the Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade effect to destroy everything in end phase. Ariana and Chandelier. Ladies coming down. Ladies impervious to destruction. Big Welcome Labyrinth. Branded opening chain. Pitching to summon a Luber. A Luber effect. Now we're going on the next chain. We got a Luber effect. Lady Labyrinth effect. She'll destroy the Brandon Fusion, but it's fine. We draw the Brandon Fusion because we masterfully played around that Fiverr patchwork to get the plus one polymerization fusing the guardian chimera to be able to destroy quem to reborn the mirror jade 
And we gotta fight for Patchwork again to replace our resources. Mirror Jade, Chimera, getting rid of all the resources my opponent has. Fusion Dispatch, summoning off of Mirror Jade, summon Fallen of Albaz. Albaz effect to Fusion, summon, making Lubelion. Lubelion effect, shuffle back to make the almighty Albalanitus, a guy that can attack 25 times. So if he summons any monsters, it's still fine. Uh, 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 and then we go Quem, we go Cartesia, we go Mirror Jade, and we go Chimera. One, one. Unbelievable game so far. Let's keep going. We've got Labyrinth going up first. Pot of Extravagance to uh, draw two cards. Oh, the Strike and the Imperm. What a devastating play. And the Ash, of course, for three straight game. Three Ashes. What is going on? Now we got Big Welcome Labyrinth. We got Ku Klux going off. We have Special Summon this card. We have Big Welcome Labyrinth Summon. We have a lovely, lovely effect to destroy a card in the hand. We've got Chandelier going off. We've got plus millions of millions of cards. The Pot of Desire out of the hand. The Dugars, the Timeless, to Special Summon a monster from the graveyard. Lovely to set the Imperm. And we're going to the end phase. Now, can we play through this board? Allure of Darkness into Mercuria. Mercuria effect to banish to get Albion. Al get Lightning Storm, destroy the back row so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, Albion sent Fallen of Albaz. Fla Blazing Cartesia to summon itself and so that we can uh, play around any kind of uh, nonsense that could pop out of nowhere. Aluber effect to search brand of fusion. We have the Ash for it again! Again! But we have the triple tasking, tasking talents or whatever it is. We get fusion duplication. We go into Queridus. Queridus effect. Big Welcome Labyrinth triggers to bounce the Queridus. Queridus zero is everything, but it doesn't matter. There's nothing left for uh, Dueling Wave to attack with. We get to draw. We destroy the fusion deployment. And that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Game four. Branded down to one. Loki the Vile. Seething. Wants to destroy this branded deck that took him down in uh, round one of the tournament in group stages. He is not to be denied. He's one victory away from winning the match. Can he do it? Albion effect. Lubelion effect. Pitching Edgem Chain. Uh, summoning Mirror Jade. Edgem Chain. Get Fight for Patchwork. Lubelion comes out. Lubelion effect. Getting branded lost. Blazing Cartesia. Fusing into Guignol. Guignol effect. Branded lost effect. We're going to get Mercurier. We're going to get everything we need. Ad libitum to the graveyard. Spriggan's kit. Let's draw, let's get another card to the hand so that we can pr protect ourselves from any possible negates. Arias. Negate with the Mercurier to put them on four cards. Uh, and then a fifth when they draw. Uh, going second should be enough against Labyrinth. But we will see. Pot of Extravagance off the top. We have to chain here. We will chain. Brighting Blazing Braided King to negate that card so they don't get the plus two. Arias effect. Setting the trap. And uh, we've got the Mirror Jade for the Ariana. And so Arias is going to do his thing, set himself back, return the Ariana to the, or banish the Ariana. And then we're going to chain. A lot of stuff's going on, guys. A lot of stuff. No human, not even MBT can keep up with all this stuff. Britain in a red. Uh, and then we're going to do the Ad Libitum play where we would banish everything and, and just uh, destroy everything and draw cards. So Loki the Vile scoops. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Game five. Loki the Vile, a man who fought back harder than anyone in this tournament. The Dueling Wave, undefeated so far throughout this tournament. Uh, who will win this championship? The underdog story for all the way comeback versus the YouTuber guy. Game 5. There is no more games after this, ladies and gentlemen. Any predictions, put them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this tournament so far, like the video, subscribe to the, to the channel, and comment down below. Go wave! Anyway, let's get into this final duel and see the final results of this matchup. We got Labyrinth leading off with Ariana. Ariana effect search. We get Arias effect so we can uh, set a trap from the hand. Big welcome Labyrinth. Summoning uh, lovely, lovely effect to destroy a card in the hand. And they destroy the trap. Lovely. Setting big welcome. Setting Labyrinth, Labyrinth, and two more trap cards. We are, we have full setup at this moment. Now, fight for patchwork to draw two cards. Uh, Allure of Darkness to draw two cards. Mercurial effect to draw another card. <laughs> Fusion Dispatch. We're going in, ladies and gentlemen. We're going everything we've got. Everything we have, we're throwing down. We've got five cards left in hand. Jedjim Chain is going to get us another card. Labyrinth Labyrinth is going to destroy a card. We're going to lose a card in the hand. We're going to get uh, Ariana Search. Ariana Search, get Big Lady. Big Lady comes down. Big Mama. Uh, we get Spriggan's Kit. Spriggan's Kit effect. Big Welcome Labyrinth. Lady Labyrinth. Getting Infinite Impermanence. Spriggan's Kit. Uh, Ku Klok. Ku Klok effect. Ku Klok Pitch. Am I getting ahead of myself? Yeah, Ku Klok Pitch. Uh, Brain Fusion effect. 
summoning Albion. Albion effect will draw the Imperm off the Kuklok. And now we're in a position. Uh, Albion effect, send the brand opening. Uh, Pot of Desires, draw two cards. Foolish Burial uh, to Foolish the Blazing Cartesia. Polymerization, fuse into Guardian Chimera, an untargetable card that will destroy everything. Uh, and now we're going to get the Branded Lost and the Aluber. We are in a interesting position. We have the Branded in red. We have the Cartesia in hand. This is anyone's game at this moment. Branded in red. We're borning the Albaz. Albion effect. We're going to try to fuse again. Branded Lost. We're going to search Albion. We're going to get Lubelion. Lubelion effect pitch. Pitching to make Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade effect. We're going to immediately banish Lovely to try to recoup resources and try to stop them from going off. Big Welcome Labyrinth to bounce the Mirror Jade. Uh, Ariana effect, branded retribution effect to negate and destroy. And now we're in battle phase. Albion gets destroyed, and now we're in a grind game. Who will win this grind game? We get branded fusion off the Albion. We have a Luber. We have branded opening. Big welcome labyrinth triggers. Re uh, branded retribution to bring back branded fusion in case we get destroyed. We got Arias, Arian, whatever his name is. The other one with the tail. Uh, setting the solemn judgment. A Luber effect. A Luber effect to search. Branded in red. Uh, Chimera flip, Branded Fusion effect, search uh, to special summon Albion, Albion effect fuse, Branded Lost effect chain link 2, and Loki the Vile doesn't want to see his ladies absolutely slaughtered by big vicious dragons and chimeras, completely understandable. Thank you Loki the Vile for a great tournament. Uh, the winner, I mean hey, someone had to do it. It's nice that it was me, but anyone, any one of us could have done it. It was such great competition. This tournament was intense. I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. And let's just get to our closing co uh, closing comments. So as you can see, the game, the, the hits made these made the game fun again, right? We have random decks all over the place. Lab apparently is super well represented. It's kind of crazy. Uh, the goal here was to make like an Edison type format, uh, but with modern cards. So we don't have to play Edison cards because Edison is like self-contained and doesn't really expand. So we wanted to play new cards, fun, like modern cards, but with that type of ethos. Kind of like almost like a YCS Bologna, but without like FTK stuff like Menadium and really like broken cards in the format. Our goal is to fix problems as they arise, you know, each month, right? We want to have a ban list out. Uh, as soon as problems arise, we're going to hit them within like a few weeks. We just dropped update 1.1 after this tournament. This tournament is kind of like the last little bit of testing that we did for the next ban list. So when you go on the Discord, check it out. Hopefully there's no confusion. 1.0 is what we use for this tournament. 1.1 is what we used, what we're going to use from here on out for the next probably month or so, maybe more, maybe less, depending on, you know, as needed um, for the hits. Because you don't want to just hit stuff randomly. But we do have already a few hits in mind for the next ban list. But uh, yeah, 1.1 is a huge, crazy shakeup of the game. It's more like a 2.0. Probably should have renamed it 2.0. Probably will rename it 2.0. Uh, because the game is like now completely different. I mean, we have like Grass Looks Greener, Reasoning at 3. We have uh, Omega Band. We have so many, so many. Just go check it out. It's crazy. We hit Problem Cards, Secret Village, and those type of floodgates. And we unlock more fun and insane cards and enable more fun and combo, right? So we can bring other decks back so we can have more decks to play. Anyway, with that, uh, go check it out. Uh, much love as always. Go check out this video because you know you love it. And I'll see you in the next one.